Monday of July. It is dark in here. Mm. Okay, there we go. We got some sun. Okay, so now that we got a little sun, you know what I'm gonna tell you to do. Stop what you're doing. Press the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you're always notified when a new video goes up. And then, while I'm trying to make sure I don't hit any cars, because that's dangerous. <laughs> After you have done all of the things to make sure that you're a part of the pretty crew and as my work papers go sliding off the chair, uh, I want you to grab your coffee and to grab your word and let's get started. Okay, here we go, y'all. I put my visor down because I think it'll help, but then it, it gives us like really weird shadow, so that's kind of annoying. Huh, okay, hold on, let me do this. Is this better? Is that better or is it not better? Because I don't know. Y'all tell me, is that better? I can't really tell. And see when I do it like this, the um, steering wheel, is in y'all's face. You know what? We're just gonna wait. We're gonna wait till I get to my office. And yeah, we'll try it again. Cause today is doing the most. Also, before before we do that, shout out to Head and Treasure for these earrings. They are the lime, like the not neon lime color, love them. Of course, you can go to her website at Head of Treasure and get some for yourself. Um, and now, of course, traffic is happening after I'm saying that we're gonna do it when we get to the office. So I'll talk about the coffee first because I, I don't necessarily wanna pull out the scripture and start reading and then we start moving. So the coffee is uh, the cold brew concentrate, the Madagascar vanilla from Starbucks. It is the Planet Oat um, vanilla oat milk and the Chobani French vanilla creamer. It is really good and I have just finished it so you won't hear about that one for a little while. Um, but I wanted to, because there's actually quite a bit in that bottle so I wanted to finish it up. I have some new ones um, that I'm ready to try. Uh, but as y'all know, I prefer cold coffee to warm coffee. I do drink warm coffee um, quite a bit, but I do prefer cold. So I've been stuck on it. And um, now we're gonna move to something else. Okay, so as you can see, it's moving. The light's going in and out because we're going through trees. <laughs> it's a Monday and it's the last Monday of the month. What can we expect? So I'll see y'all in a second. So I'm obviously in my office and not driving <laughs> and it's still. So I wanted to read for you really quick, uh, Psalms 52 verses six through nine and the King James version. And it says, the righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him. Lo, this is the man that made not God his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself, excuse me, in his wickedness but i am like a green olive tree in the house of god i trust in the mercy of god forever and ever i will praise thee forever because thou hast done it and i will wait on thy name for it is good before thy saints and i thought that this was a really great um scripture to end the month on one because we've talked about celebrating god we've talked about building relationship with him being intentional with him um committing to his process and also understanding that it's not about us and it's not about our own riches it's not about our own um intelligence our own wisdom our own empathy it's about none of those things it's about god's righteousness and being um committed to trusting him and understanding that it's his mercy it's his mercy that keeps us and sustains us and that he has made provision for us out of his loving kindness. We have not made provision for ourselves. And so when we say that we are going to praise you forever because you have done it, it continues to solidify to him that our focus is correct. 
that we're not looking at ourselves and inwardly and what we have done and how we have done it but instead we're continuing to focus on him and to celebrate that he is good he is faithful and that he makes provision in all seasons and in all ways and because we trust him and because we honor him and because we acknowledge him for doing that he will continue to do it and we will remain as a green olive tree because this is a green olive tree in the house of god i remember at the beginning of the month in psalms 91 and 1 we talked about being in the secret place and under the covering of the almighty and this says the tree is in the house of god it is protected by him. It is in the secret place with him. And I love that. I love that all of the scripture comes back to if you will continue to build and focus on your relationship and your intentionality with God and putting him in the front, then he will continue to cover you. He will continue to make provision for you. He will continue to show mercy and grace towards you. And you will build a relationship that is beautiful and impactful with God and that will begin to alleviate your fears of being attacked and being isolated and feeling as though you're a failure because you cannot fail if you focus on the right goal you cannot fail if you focus on the right goal I will praise thee forever because thou hast done it and I will wait on thy name for it is good before thy saints so what are you doing how are you doing it are you acknowledging that it's God and God alone? Or are you still thinking that it's you? And are you trusting in your own riches, your own mindset, your own wisdom, your own connections, your own goal plan? It's time to shift your focus to where it belongs and to build the relationship you were always intended to have with the Father so that you can be like a green, lush olive tree in his house. Okay. That's it. I'm not going to hold you long because obviously I got to work. So make sure that you get your coffee, that you enjoy it today for all of us, because I'm certainly going to enjoy mine, and that you hold Psalms 52 verses 6 through 9 in your heart this week. I'm sure that it'll bless you if you continue to meditate on it. And you know, y'all ask God how to build that relationship. Ask God how to build that relationship, how he wants to see it done, what he wants to do through you for his people. I'm excited. All right, make it a good week, pretty. Bye.